Previously on Beverly Pills. You want me to help you rescue Nadia from an armed drug dealer. All this danger is getting me all tingly in my nooks and crannies. I don't know why I haven't been myself for weeks now. It may have something to do with the fact that you haven't signed your divorce papers yet. Mr. Davis? Yes. I'm finally with your daughter. Oh, we have a uh, Melinda in the Miracle Mile and she supplies Ritalin. Ritalin? Ugh, so 90s. Next. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, Steven Santa Monica has a large coating cough syrup supply. Lean? Oh my God, what are we, Houston? Jesus, Daisy, where are you getting these suppliers from? Craigslist? First you tell me that we are completely out of money, and then we have absolutely zero pills, and now you have not one valid supplier for me. What the hoo-ha have you been doing with your time the past couple weeks? Miss Scarlet, you so stressed out. Don't worry, everything will work itself out. Jesus, Paula Abdul, what are you on? I came across a bill, literally, when I was vacuuming a house in suburbia. is like swimming in a pool of puppies. Is the new Xanax, without all the nasty side effects, is very expensive and can only be found in one place. Uh-huh. And which place is that? Or whatever. That's me, Scarlett Davis. Welcome home, Miss Scarlett. I'm like the Beverly Hills socialite. Scarlett Davis? Who's asking? You have 24 hours to evict. And this is the story of how I become the most successful pill dealer in all of Beverly Hills. Ah! How dare you drag me in here! I wasn't finished sniffing Scarlet's dirty knickers. My brain just threw up, but not the point. Anyway, I brought you in here because I am going to give you a Nadia drum roll. She's out getting Scarlet's groceries. A makeover. Oh yeah, I'm about to wax, I'm about to burn, I'm about to straighten, I'm about to cornrow, and I'm about to bedazzle every inch of hair on that bisexually shaped body of yours because your depression is seeping into how you apply your makeup and it's really bumming me out. So now, get on all fours. I'd like to object. And Kathy. Make sure to double up Diana's dosage. Her cycling speech at the PTA meeting was neurotic as shit. Oh, sweetie. Vivid Entertainment is on the other side of the hill. I'll map quest it for you. Conchita! Honey, I'm not a porn star, but thank you. I am Scarlett Davis, and I am the hardest working drug dealer in all of Beverly Hills. I have a very large, dependable client base, and I would really love if you could be my new Pura Doll supplier. I'm gonna go ahead and assume you're not a cop, unless you have a huge vagina to stick a gun up inside of. I would never make it through police academy, and I do my Kegel, so I am literally tighter than 50 Cent wearing white sneakers down there. I don't speak black, but here's the supply. It's five grand. Oh, okay. So just a little bit of an issue with my cash supply. See, I just have like three of my friends living under my roof right now, and they're like practically like a lobotomy patient. But if you confront it to me, I promise I will get it right back to you. Okay. So I... I've heard enough. You could show yourself out. Well, well, wait, I promise you won't be too low, darlings. I just had the most delightful tea at the country club. Do you bitches ever speak human? <laughs> right. Here's your supply. You see? This is how it works. Get the fuck out of my house. You too. You look. Stunning. 
I look like a $20 hooker in the back of a pickup truck. And I love it! <laughs> I really thought this was going to be a painful experience, but after the Brazilian wax and the anal bleaching, I can't feel a thing. I put painkillers in your champagne. Oh, bless you. Speaking of makeovers, let's give our Monday a makeover as well. Come on, Nadia, it's just one little phone call. I just need you to tell her that I'm like super reliable, so she'll front me these Puritals. I already gave you her address. I want no more involvement with this. So you want me out on the streets, huh? I mean, do you know where I'll have to move to if I get kicked out of here? Viv! No, really, I'm asking. Because I can't think of anywhere worse than Hollywood. Hmm. You are unbelievable. I feed you. I rescue you from armed drug dealers. And you spend every night in Daisy's room like you're gonna pay rent here. Uh, uh, I work here till late. It's not safe to walk around the city late at night. And I gave you your green card. And I still pay for it by cleaning vodka off every inch of this home. Mm. Fine. But don't even think I'm gonna let you massage my feet anymore. <laughs> Cute. It makes graphs. Okay, hear me out just really quickly. Your Stepford Wives style dealers are selling Pura dolls for 30 bucks a pop. Boo! For me, that one pill in Beverly Hills is worth $60. Yay! Not only that, your clientele needs to take Adderall during the day to manage their stressful families and lives and jobs or whatever. Meaning they can only take your product at night. My clientele doesn't have to. So, their stress-free Beverly Hills lifestyle allows them to take double the amount of Puritol, quadrupling your income. Charlotte, listen. Start. When I was dirt broke and running away from an abusive husband, I changed my name, doubled as a rich suburban soccer mom, until I was finally the one who could support my four kids, who to this day still have nightmares of their monster of a father. Which is why when self-entitled rich girls like you think they can stroll into my home and demand for me to hand over what puts food on my table, makes me want to stab the fake lashes off a bitch's face with our own $3,000 stilettos! Ow! Yeah. The sounds of my own voice turns me on, so let me repeat myself. Get the fuck out of my house. Leave before my East Coast accent becomes permanent. Excuse me. I'm late for my first shift at Josie's Thrifty Crab Shack. I can't let you do this. Z Z these clothes, they are so real. Glad to see your Puritol wore off. Nadia, stop it, I, I, come on. I have to go and I can barely balance in these weird shoes. I am not allowing you to do this. This isn't you. Oh yeah, and who am I? Some rich girl who's just gonna get along without any bumps in the road? Well, let me tell you something, sister. There's bumps in every road, and apparently you have to buy Snickers to get over them. And we have two doors. <gasps> no! You are not the same person you used to be. You battled crazy trannies and both frat brothers. You even saved me from a gun. You took care of all your friends when they needed you the most. If you think you are anything close to the person you used to be, then you are blind as the cat. All right, I'm gonna make those last few runs and I'll be back before the strippers get here that I ordered. Wait a minute. I know what's going on. You're feeling empty. Who made you genius, Frankenstein? It's Einstein. You're Frankenstein, and I'm 
the monster whore you've created. I don't know if you've come to terms with it or not, but Lauren's gone and you have every right to feel abandoned. But turning me into her isn't going to help you cope. It's just kind of blur the lines. I know. I just... I just miss my Lauren time. Oh. Pop it. I know you do. But instead of forcing Lauren and Erin time, why don't we try to make new memories with Daisy and Erin time? Okay. Okay. Well, I'll start by canceling the strippers I no, ordered. No, whoa, hey, sweetie. I'm as smooth as a two-day-old Brazilian baby, and this badge <laughs> needs to get some mileage. <laughs> Go, run your errands. <laughs> Good. And when you return, I'll teach those little piggies how to really get dirty. Fine, fine. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> Nadia, I need you. Rose, I am here to tell you that you have got a giant misconception of me. If only there was an ointment to make bitches disappear. I know that I might be a little flashier than your regular drug dealer. And, and yes, I will treat myself to a very well-deserved cocky here and there. I really hope that's short for cocktail. But I've struggled, okay? I had my entire fortune stripped away from me by the government. My family abandoned me, and I've been attacked by every single drug dealer in and around my area code. So if you are gonna judge me just because I don't drive a minivan, or because I haven't pushed a human out of my own bitty scent, then fine. But you just better know that I am the best goddamn drug dealer Beverly Hills has ever seen. So at least respect that I am good at what I do. Well, that's all I had to say. So, if you'll excuse me now, I have a bus to catch because I can't afford gas anymore. <laughs> all right, fine. You didn't have to stroll in here in thrift store clothes to prove your point. You can have a badge. Really? I've known about you for a while. I know you're good. But a bad bitch has to test another bad bitch, right? And for the love of God, I'll give you a ride. You must be dying in those sneakers. Ugh. When striving to become the person you want to be tomorrow, you'll inevitably shine a light on who you were yesterday. This will enlighten what once was shadow and can brighten the path you were always meant to travel. Guys, what did you do to this apartment? Aaron? Aaron? Oh my god. Aaron! Oh my god, Aaron! Aaron! But when striving to become the person you want to be tomorrow, Aaron! Who you are today will illuminate a whole new set of darkness. next time on the season finale of Beverly Pills. I'm here for Blue's address. I know you have it So that I... I can avoid him. Not go straight into his home to try to kill him. Do you know how dangerous Blue is? When we find him, we're gonna rip his nuts off and have him choke on them. You're out of your mind if you think I'm going to allow you to walk out that door and get yourself killed on my watch. Mr. Davis, things are dying down around here. Scarlet, 